Hello, today we will discuss about how to plot this cam profile on Python. Previously, we had done how to um, plot theta versus lift, means this cam follower will lift according to this angle theta. If if it rotate like this, then the here follower goes above like this one, like this one like this one and it will uh, goes up to this radius 40 plus this cam follower height 40 means total 80 it will goes so up to this distance maximum it is 80 so how to do this profile first of all um, I'll show you one uh, diagram it is uh, this radius r is equal to uh, 40 and means um, r is equal to 20 and it is circle and now it will show you this cam profile so how to do draw the this cam profile around this circle so we know that if here um, i'll open up paint If you uh, do the circle and divide this part something like theta this is theta so this angle is cos theta multiply by this length suppose it is a then cos theta multiply by a and this length is a sin theta so if if we know the point of a sin theta our uh, x axis and x uh, cos theta <coughs> then it is our with we got coordinate x and y so after plotting this here, 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 here. So we can get our cam profile. But it is now it is circle only. So how to get cam profile like this one? So we will up to this. It is r is equal to uh, zero. X is zero. R is equal to forty. And by here, so the radius r is equal to 40 plus this length this length means if I draw here this is R plus this distance this if it is distance A means B so total distance is equal to R plus B so how to get this B distance uh, here you can see that this 0 to 10 means up to here distance it is B 5 to 20 so the uh, up to this distance is this this much so we'll uh, add this r plus this distance and we'll plot every uh, cos theta and sin theta of every plot and we'll draw this cam profile so how to write that in python code previously i had discussed i will not grow go for uh, this how to go for this watch my previous video so uh, I had already uh, kept whatever modification is there I will told you so this is all almost same n is equal to 50 means number of division we will number of uh, means 0 to 90 how many number of division we will require this is n this is our edge camshaft displacement this is out or ascent of our camshaft this is dwell of our camshaft return will be 90 offset is 0 means if you want to offset of this camshaft you can also plot it first we will start with our first 90 minus offset so if you want to plot offset with this much angle so you, you have to divide your offset angle means this 20 so this is actually 90 degree so 90 minus 20 so uh, 70 degree your angle
value will be there so it will start with your 70 degree but it is here 0 so it will start with 90 degree then our second will be first plus out means first plus ascent so total 180 degree so so control so first first graph is like this is our ascent sorry our ascent this is 30 degree our dwell and this is again 90 degree this one our descent so by this way you can plot this one so I had gone through h is simply h multiplied by 0.5 so 40 multiplied by 0.5 means 25 or uh, 20 it is simply array a1 b1 null array which will input this append function into this and it will uh, use for loop for this function I have already mentioned in my previous uh, video how to what is the function of for loop in here but I will uh, exam means uh, what I have whatever I change I will uh, noted you here I had changed a3 a plus h what is a plus h a plus h means whatever this value will be uh, given it will simply add your h value so what is h value h value means this r and r is equal to h and uh, this this value is a value so total value is equal to a3 is equal to h sorry h plus a so like this way i had written i had written a3 is equal to a plus h same thing a3 plus h i will append my a3 and a i already meant same thing for descent i had mentioned uh, this b3 multiplied by b b3 is equal to b plus h and same thing here b3 is equal to b plus h and i will append in this <coughs> null array a is equal to null b is equal to null it will go here to here now we'll uh, go for cosine our function so first we'll go for a3 means this our dual function so what is means what is uh, here coordinate so this is theta theta this is a3 multiply by sine theta and this much is a3 a3 and cos theta so we got our x and y coordinate in same way for this coordinate this coordinate this coordinate this coordinate this coordinate this coordinate and same thing so i had kept a3 multiplied by ap cos theta our np radians first second this is actually command i have wrote same thing 2 multiplied by h so i had go for this dual command 2 multiplied by h dot np cos this cos second and third again b3 np same thing this this dual time is 2h this one is same same uh, distance between dwell up to this one but after this one it will again some losing radius up to this one up to this so this four line is same and this will inc decrementally um, decrement one by one and it will came r is equal to means this one is h so by this way you can plot cos and sine of your function 
so I had go for this this is for ascent area this is for well area this is for descent area this is for uh, in between area whatever um, re area remaining it will like that and it will it is 0 to first means if it uh, goes by uh, by here it will this portion is still remaining so we have to plot this one but here the cam profile is this R only so here you can see that I'll, I will show you my cam profile so here you can see that my cam, uh, cam profile 0 to 90 the R is equal to 1 means R is equal to 40 so this is 0 to 90 area This is just simplify I had kept circle here so so you can see center of your uh, uh, this cam profile that's why I had mentioned it is not need of this anything at all and this is plotting our figure this is already I mentioned how to put it so this is something different you have to subplot it 12 comma 10 just grid is true and I will plot C1 comma C uh, C S1. So this is our X and Y C C2 C S2 and up to C S6. So it will goes like that. I will color it red. It is I will plot fill between. If I don't put it, I'll just sample it. And I, if I put sorry run this code you can see that only you can not get this filled one so I had this plt dot fill between x x and y function so it will fill your function with blue or any color so here you can see that I had um, draw my game profile with our python code here you can see that number of division is 50 if I remove 0 means number of division is 5 only 5 here you can see that our graph is not that much smooth and our cam profile is not that much great so if I go for 10 you can see that our cam profile is very sharp and very much visible you can print it and uh, you can uh, see in uh, draw the cam profile on your lathe machine or CN, I mean CNC sorry CNC machine and you can um, cut it from your ingot so what is need of python actually so here only you have to change your ascent time like if you want 30 and uh, sorry I will go for 50 30 and if I go for 120 you have to just run it it will show you how your cam profile look like if you want to upset your follower here then you have to just simply your give offset 20 and just run it so it will here you can see that our center line is here so by 20 degree the cam profile is updated so just you have to run this code and it will give your uh, cam profile and cam profile displacement of your follower by this way you can automize your uh, cam profile function at any time you have to just change your height if you want to change height so just say the height and it will change your dimension of your follower of camshaft and anything you want to like if you want to your out time is 20 this is 30 and 20 if you want to offset 0 and if I run this code with minimum of time you can get your cam profile graph and no you you don't want to do anything um, such like graphical method in like textbook you have to draw so much 
follow of the time so thank you guys please share and subscribe to my channel